Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Cam Ward and today I'm going to be talking about this, the Dika Pack. This is an underwater case, why well, I don't know, I should not put it down. It's an underwater case for DSLRs and I got it on for Amazon for like £40 maybe, so it's pretty cheap. Like, um, normally some of these can cost like thousands of pounds, like really expensive ones. However, I thought I'd give a review of this one because it would probably be quite helpful to know if my gear made it or not. Tested this thing in um, Spain uh, last week. I put the Sony in here, the A7S, with a Canon 2470 f2.8, which obviously probably wasn't the most you know clever of ideas to test that camera first because it's, you know if it didn't work, probably wouldn't be making this video probably. Uh, crying in a hole somewhere. This case, does it work? Yes or no? Yes, it works. Is it good? Yes, kind of. You can put your fingers in these little holes here to pull focus on the lens. Uh, it's got a little zip lock. Do you remember like those sandwich bags you had as a kid for pipe lunges? And you zip lock it there. And it's got Velcro. The main thing is it works, okay? The only problems and like downsides with it is it's pretty difficult to get focus um, whilst using it and it's also pretty difficult to check your shots in there. I had an ND filter on the 2470, however I stopped down to like f16 just to make sure everything was in focus and also checking footage isn't really possible so try and line up those shots as best you can. I jumped off a boat with this thing and landed in the water so it can take impact. Other than that, make sure it's sealed, well throw your camera in first then make sure it's sealed and then uh, should be good to go. It also comes with like a strap you can put around your neck so you can carry it there. Probably recommend doing that as opposed to swimming with this thing with one hand wasn't very safe. Uh, one other quick tip whilst using this is if you're shooting on Sony, shoot in the crop mode or zoom your lens in just a bit because otherwise you might get the edges of the case in um, and it gives you like a vignette, vignette? vignette look on it. Yeah, shoot on a crop mode or zoom your lens in a little bit and I'll get rid of that. But yeah, footage looks all right from it. If you wanna get one, maybe I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna get one. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope this was useful. And uh, yeah, check out my other videos. Thank you very much.